if alpha beta are two different roots of equation a cos theta plus b sin theta equals to c then which of the options are correct can be more than one right option correct option now if we look at the options we see alpha plus beta as the angle tan of alpha plus beta cos of alpha plus beta cot of alpha plus beta like that and we know that alpha beta are two different roots of this equation that means we have to substitute alpha comma beta in the given equation we get a cos alpha plus b sin alpha equals to c and a cos beta plus b sin beta equals to c now let us try to subtract them so that we will get on the right hand side zero we will have a into cos alpha minus cos beta or a cos alpha minus a cos beta plus b sin alpha minus b sin beta equals to 0. Let's take the last two terms to the right hand side. We have a into cos alpha minus cos beta equals to minus b into sin alpha minus sin beta. Now we know the formula for cos c minus cos d trigonometric ratios. We want to transform them from sum or difference to product. So it will be a into cos alpha minus cos b is minus 2 sin alpha plus beta by 2 multiply with sin of alpha minus beta by 2. Similarly, sin of alpha minus sin beta is 2 cos alpha plus beta by 2 multiply with sin of alpha minus beta by 2. We can see clearly that sin of alpha minus beta by 2 can be cancelled on both the sides and we can cancel 2 and 2 also. Then left, at, left out to us is minus minus also we can cancel left out is sin alpha plus beta by 2 by cos alpha plus beta by 2 equals to b by a or a sin alpha plus beta by 2 equals to b into cos of alpha plus beta by 2 or can we write it as tan of alpha plus beta by 2 equals to b by a. Now it becomes very easy because we have the angle alpha plus beta by 2 we can easily go to next level that is alpha plus beta. So let us draw the triangle for alpha plus beta by 2 angle. We know that tan opposite by adjacent is given by b by a then what should be the hypotenuse by Pythagoras theorem it should be square root of a square plus b square. Now we can easily find out what is sin of alpha plus beta because we know sin 2a equals to 2 sin a cos a. So let's write down sin of alpha plus beta equals to 2 into sin of alpha plus beta by 2 into cos of alpha plus beta by 2 which is actually nothing but sin 2a equals to 2 sin a cos a. We know the values of sin of alpha plus beta by 2 and cos of alpha plus beta by 2. Let's go ahead and substitute them. 2 into b divided by square root of a square plus b square multiply with a divided by square root of a square plus b square which is equals to 2ab divided by a square plus b square. Now once we got one trigonometric ratio of angle alpha plus beta, easily we can find out the remaining all trigonometric ratios with the help of the triangle. So let's draw the triangle for the angle alpha plus beta. Let's draw a triangle for angle alpha plus beta we know sin opposite by hypotenuse is 2ab 
divided by a square plus b square. So opposite will be 2ab, hypotenuse will be a square plus b square. By Pythagoras theorem, the missing side will be a square minus b square. You can cross check that. Once we know this, now we can go ahead and check our options, which options are correct. Cos of alpha plus beta according to us is a square minus b square by a square plus b square and that is what they have given us. So option B is correct option. So cut over sin opposite hypotenuse cos adjacent hypotenuse tangent opposite adjacent. Cos of alpha plus beta is a square minus b square divided by a square plus b square which is correct option. Option B is correct. Now let us see what is tan of alpha plus beta. Tan of alpha plus beta equals to opposite by adjacent that is 2ab divided by a square minus b square. So option A is also correct. Option C and option D are wrong or not correct. You can see them from the triangle. So the correct options for this particular problem are option A and option B. So if alpha, beta are two different roots of the given equation, then to find out trigonometric ratios of angle alpha plus beta, we have to take the equation, substitute one time alpha, one time beta, then subtract them. We get the trigonometric ratios of some are difference. You transform them into product so that you can get alpha plus beta by 2. From there, we use multiple levels. Go to the next level, alpha plus beta, by using the formula sin 2a equals to 2 sin a cos a. Then you get the trigonometric ratios of alpha plus beta. We are able to get sin of alpha plus beta. Then immediately we can draw the triangle and we can find out the missing side and that's how we can find out remaining all trigonometric ratios of angle alpha plus beta.